progress is that there's now a federal law uh, that requires the government to set safety standards for all new vehicles and by 1969 for used vehicles as well, as well as a number of other areas in traffic safety uh, which will receive greater attention and money from the federal government. Yes, a great deal of attention has been given, I know, and a great deal of time you have given uh, toward the design of the car. And uh, I wonder, though, how much uh, have you been concerned with the individuals driving the car? Yes. Well, my book was on the uh, motor vehicle aspect of traffic safety. Obviously, drivers have a part to play as well. Uh, I think it's important, however, uh, to note that we can't put uh, the majority of our emphasis only on the driver because the driver is much more difficult to control than the design of the vehicle and uh, that although we must continue to uh, improve our driving uh, performance and uh, better highways uh, the vehicle is the single most controllable factor uh, that will cut the causal chain uh, between uh, the uh, contributing factor to the accident and the injury uh, the best example I know of that is that when an accident occurs uh, the only way people are killed or injured uh, is in the way they interact with the inside of the car. Sharp edges, in instrument panel, the door pops open on them, they're thrown out, the steering column ramrods back into the driver and so forth. And so once accidents do occur, as they will unfortunately again and again, the vehicle is the only thing that can save uh, the people in the car from being injured or killed in the accident. So the vehicle is a wonderful second line of defense if it is designed to be crash-worthy enough to protect people in collisions that are now uh, not survivable, but, but certainly should be if the manufacturers wanted them to be. Now, should somebody take up the uh, crusade, however, to uh, do something about uh, better educating our drivers? Well, the uh, law, which was passed last year, provides for large federal support for driver training programs in the 50 states. I think uh, our driver education programs are too much classroom oriented and not enough uh, behind the wheel oriented. Uh, I know in Iowa, for example, 30 hours are devoted to classroom uh, education, only six hours behind the wheel. Uh, I think that recently has been changed to, I believe, 12 hours. But even so, the ratio is totally inadequate. It's far more important to get them behind the wheel uh, with uh, uh, adequate equipment and techniques so that they know how to behave in an emergency situation, in a skid, and other situations that will confront them. Now, do we have proper legislation that takes care of the, uh, the difficulties as human beings that we have with sight and some of these uh, afflictions that make us not prime uh, car drivers? Yes, that again is uh, an area which will receive greater emphasis. That is, people who have physical disabilities will be checked periodically, particularly eyesight. In fact, everybody is going to be checked for eyesight every four years uh, in order to determine whether uh, they are still capable of uh, driving a car adequately. If they're not, their license, unfortunately, will have to be taken away from them. What about reaction time? Reaction time is uh, more difficult to measure. Um, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the problem of clear vision is something you can determine with some precision. Reaction time, however, is something which you can't particularly draw a line to uh, as easily as you can envision, but I'm sure they're going to have to take that into account. You can't be too strict. You can't be too strict on this, because if you are, you'll find yourself stripping half the drivers of their license, and if you do that, uh, you'll find half our industry breaking down because nobody can reach them to go to work. <laughs> well, and of course, uh, reaction time, uh, even uh, with the normal person, a normal healthy person uh, is going to vary from uh, one hour to the next in That's many right. cases. Now reaction time for elderly drivers is quite important. There's where you get a gradual deterioration until a certain point is reached where there simply is totally inadequate uh, mm -hmm. reaction time. So for older drivers uh, uh, this will be an important measurement of uh, periodic driver uh, license uh, driver testing. Now, it is my understanding, and I don't want to get us off this, but it's my understanding that you are also uh, concerned now about uh, our meat industry. Oh, yes. Well, I think everybody should be concerned about the meat industry, at least all people who meat eat, eat meat. Well, now, <laughs> the, <laughs> what particularly uh, uh, bothers you? Well, roughly 25% of all meat processed in this country is processed within state boundaries. Therefore, uh, it escapes uh, federal inspection. 
U.S. Department of Agriculture does not have the jurisdiction to go into these in-state plants. And over the years, there has been a, a series of, uh, of uh, gross, uh, grossly unsanitary problems arising, the use of uh, 4-D animals, dead, dying, diseased, disabled animals, uh, unsanitary conditions in the plants, and the use of um, uh, federally banned uh, chemical injections, coloring agents, uh, preservatives, to make putrid meat uh, more acceptable to the consumer. Um, six years ago, Congressman Neil Smith from Des Moines introduced a bill in the House uh, to expand federal inspection service to include uh, most of these plants. Uh, now we have had hearings this year at the House level, and there's little question about that next year we will have a law passed that will lead toward the improvement of this extremely uh, discomforting, if not revolting, situation. And so that this would affect uh, the, uh, rather than just uh, affecting the interstate, it should fact, uh, in fact affect the intrastate and interstate. Right. See, much of uh, the uh, substandard meat, the diseased meat, finds its way into processed meat products uh, such as uh, hot dogs, uh, bologna, uh, and other similar products. And unfortunately, with the genius of modern chemistry, the uh, meat buyer can't even tell the difference. It's colored, preserved, seasoned, everything is camouflaged. Uh, well, is this going to be uh, something that the large uh, meat packers cooperate? Well, uh, most meat, large meat packers are federally inspected, but uh, even the largest ones have some plants operating within state boundaries that escape inspection and that have all the problems uh, that occur with some of the smaller meat packers. So it's not entirely a problem of the medium or smaller meat packers. Well, but now their products cannot carry then if it is not uh, packed. I was not expected. It cannot carry the seal and does not now carry the seal. That's right. But unfortunately, some uh, unscrupulous uh, firms will, ca will fake the seal you know, so that they deceive people into thinking they have the USDA seal. But that is still the best, uh, the best cue for the meat buyer. If he sees that USDA seal, um, mm -hmm. he can be sure that it's federally inspected. Well, now, is he going to put his plant number on it if it is faked? Uh, there are different versions. No, obviously he's not going to identify his plant number because many of these plants don't have plant numbers because they're not inspected. Mm -hmm, but I mean, uh, the one that, as you say, the one that is the large packer that has uh, the off, not the off brand, but the yes. other brand, and that you can identify this many times by the stamp right. with the, the with number. Now, That's if right. it has this stamp and number on it, it has been inspected? Yes, mm -hmm. generally speaking. There are some clever deceptions of the label. But generally speaking, it has been inspected. Unfortunately, the entire meat industry is opposing strengthening the law, mm -hmm. both large and small packers. Well, this will be interesting to follow, and at the same time, I'm sure that everybody will be interested in your comments in Unsafe at Any Speed, uh, which is your latest book, isn't it? Thank you. This is Ralph Nader.